My guys know uh, we're going to go into our float series where we're hitting knee taps and dunks and stuff like that. And, and those sometimes take a little more time to develop. Um, they know if it's a tie match, if they're down by a point, and they get a front headlock on the knees there, they better be going quick, trying to backhand, get behind the guy, win that match. If they're in a situation like that, and they're hanging out, hanging out, looking for knee taps and dumps and stuff like that, they're going to be in trouble. Okay? There are situations when you need to know how to score quick, and, and really a torch position is a good way to score quick too if you're more comfortable there. A lot of guys can get in there and really drag it down and really hit a head and hole hip hook. Uh, they can move there. But uh, they, your guys need to understand when to use certain ones. When to use certain holds in these front headlock situations. Um, okay, so we're going to go into what we call, what I call a float position. And I call it a float position because what we'll do is turn this way, Zach. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Head this way. Head, head this way. Oh. What we're going to do, rather than chin and pit, back up a little bit. Rather than chin and pit here, we're going to go double pits. Okay, we're going to go double pits. So, typically we're coming, boom, we're coming here. This time we're going to come here. Right here, we could, but we're going to keep him corralled. We've got the two pits. Elbows are tight, okay? And he's corralled underneath me here. All right, okay, and now the first thing we're going to do, first thing I'm going to teach you here, is a knee tap. All right, and in order to get a knee tap, some guys pick it up quicker than others. But when you're teaching, uh, teaching somebody who's new to it or teaching a team, uh, I think it's best to kind of teach it in a reverse order. Okay, you get them in the get them in the position they need to be in to finish that hold, and then we'll back it up to the beginning. All right, and a couple things that they need to understand how to, to properly hit a knee tap. And like I said, uh, if you want to see some really nice knee taps on my website, uh, you can watch. There's a like a short highlight video. Of Christian Burr, you watch him. He's got some beautiful ones. He's hitting them from the feet. The guys, feet are way up in the air. Okay, but they gotta under, understand. Uh, where to get, or how to get in a position where they're going to hit this properly. So, what I'm going to do is we're, we're, we're double overs right here, okay? And I'm going to put them in the finish position. And the finish position is going to be, my chin is going to be the only thing holding his head down, all right? My right knee is going to be right here inside of his hand, all right? My shoulder is going to be below his chest. So, it's going to be here. Chin is the only thing on top of his head. Right here. Okay, so I'm turn this way. Knee is up here. It's not back here. Knee is here. Chin, the only thing holding him down. Okay, right here. Shoulder is below. And we're going to grab, we're not grabbing the knee. Too easy to hop this. Hop over that. Boop. We're grabbing the thigh right here. And we're grabbing it. We're grabbing it like this. Okay, so the only thing up here, and in order to get a good knee tap and a good dump, dress or dump, you got to get good at this. Only thing holding the guy down is your chinny chin chin, right here. Okay, and when you get good at that, the next thing you got to understand is you got to pull hard here. Okay, because the only thing holding him down is my little chin right here, and he can slip that. Okay, so my chin's going to hold him down, pull hard here. And then you're going to be lethal. Okay, so knee right by his hand. Chin, only thing on top. Shoulder below, pull right here. Now I'm going to grab this. I'm grabbing this. Now when I drive, I'm not pulling him down. I'm driving through the hip. Through the hip. Okay, here's another big point most people don't know. As I'm driving, as I'm driving, this hand right here, it is going to, there's going to be pressure with this hand all the way until I pin him. I'm lifting his leg, boom, and I'm pinning him. None of this. None of those stab and be done with it. You're driving and lifting all the way through, and then I pin him across. Okay? So, we're going to start in the finish position. Knee in tight, so my hips are under me. Chin on top of the neck, right here, shoulder underneath. Got the pit over here. Pull it tight, grab a stop. Okay, now we're just gonna drive, 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 lift, I'm lifting, I'm lifting, I'm lifting, I'm lifting, boom, pin on across, get the pin. So let's have you guys come in. Just hit, just start in the starting in the finish position, hit a couple. 
Really focus on lift, driving properly, lifting the leg. Just start in there. Don't even drop in, just, just maneuver right on in there like you're a beginner. Really focus on, yeah, deep arm. Lift, oh, that's pretty right there. Just maneuver right into your finish position when you turn. Yeah. Oh my goodness. That was nice. Do that again. Back up a little bit. I think you're running out of the camera. Get your, get your finish position and stop. Alright. See how deep he can get his arm right now? Now Joey's a little smaller than him. But he's, I mean, he's a foot past where he needs to be. He straightens his hand up. Look at that. Okay, that's going to work against about anybody. All right, he wraps that, but he can do that because his chin is the only thing holding down. His shoulder is so low. He can get that arm in there so deep. All right, go. Watch him lift. Lift all the way through. He gets a pin arm. Pin arm across, gets a pin. One more each guy. Nice. Drop into the pin, yep. position I did not point out, and you're going to have to point out, is the angle you're at. Your angle. They have to be at an angle, like a 45 degree angle. Here's, here's Zach. Here's me. I got to be like this. Not like this. Okay? And that's going to happen by putting that knee where I was talking about and swinging my trail leg back. Trail leg back. Okay? So I didn't point that out. Very, very important. Now, we can't get a deep arm like this if we're square. <laughs> Not gonna work. Okay, swing this trail leg. Okay, so we're pointing right over that far hip. That's where we want to be. Boom, trail leg back here, down on one knee. Boom, boom, boom. Pulling, driving, lifting into that pin. Okay, so get them efficient there. Now, and when I'm teaching it, I'll have everybody just get in that position. Make sure they're all the right angles. Their chins are right. Their arms are deep. They're grabbing the thigh. All everything's right. Hit it and make sure they hit it properly. Okay, and once they do it all perfect, then we'll start and we'll start double overs. Okay, and then just get up both feet right here. Right here. And I'll say hit it, and they're gonna drop into that position from here. Alright, so they're gonna have to put the knee in the proper place, they're gonna have to swing the trail leg, and they're gonna have to pull tight here and drop in. That's it. I slam that shoulder underneath real quick, right into place. Okay, so it'll be like this, right here, hit it, hit it, hit it, boom, run and finish it, okay, let's just have you guys do a couple of those two steps, bouncing around there, hit it, drop in, stop, hit it, finish it. <clears throat> What you got to watch here is everything we talked about. Here, go back and have Joey do it. You got to watch that knee because what will happen is guys will drop this knee back here, they'll leave this leg here. There's no way they're going to get the arm deep enough. This knee's got to come up right there. They got to swing the trail leg, get that angle. So watch their knee, watch their trail leg, watch the angle. Boom, go. Nice. That's it. You go, Zach. Just kind of bounce around. I'll say hit, drop in, hit it, go. Hit it, hit it. There you go, there you go. And then once they're doing that good, then we'll just give them one hit it and they'll drop in and go. Go ahead, Zach. Kind of bouncing on his toes. Hit it, boom, drop in, nice it. You go, Joey. Hit it, boom, drops in, gets that knee tap. Just like that. That's it right there. That's it. You get them good at coming in. You can hit this from a chin and pit right here. You can drop in and hit it. Um, I just, I really like to, to have an option in there where these guys learn to wrestle with double overs. 
because I mean, there's a lot of things you can do from here. You can be moving and shucking back and forth. I just like to get them uh, familiar with working for double overs. Um, but if you are from a chin and pit, been working from a chin and pit, you better understand how to keep this elbow clear, keep that arm short. Don't just get it reeled in because you'll get sucker drug. Okay, you'll get sucker drug if you if you give it away too soon. You stick that arm in slow, and you're not going for it, you're not in position. Boom, you're gonna get drug by. So it's good to learn just to come from here and then boom, explode in there, explode in there. And then when they get really good, like like these guys, they can hit it from a chin and pit because they know how to just they know how to feel it. Ooh, go real quick. 